Well, good morning. It is Sunday, July the 17th of 2022. Hope you had a great week last week and are off to a good start this week. Well, this past week, I've had several conversations with people like I typically do, but a couple of these um, conversations, somehow and in some way, the subject of growing older has um, has arisen. And as, as we discuss growing older, one of the things that I always try to mention is that Solomon had it right, that Solomon knew what he was talking about. Excuse me. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12, when he writes about growing older, remember also your creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come and the, and the years draw near of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men are bent and the grinders cease because they are few and those who look through the windows are dimmed and the doors on the street are shut. When the sound of the grinding is low and one rises up at the sound of a bird and all the daughters of song are brought low. They are afraid also of what is high, and terrors are in the way. The almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper drags itself along, and desire fails, because man is going to his eternal home, and the mourners go about the streets. Before the silver cord is snapped, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is shattered at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the Spirit returns to God who gave it. Now, I don't know what all of those figures of speech mean, but it's clear that Solomon is writing about growing old and typically what happens to those of us as we get older. And he's right. Over the years, I have found myself being afraid of heights that 30 or 40 years ago, I would have no problem climbing up on the roof of the house. And now I don't get more than three or four steps up a step ladder, and that's high enough for me. And I wake up easily in the night and have a hard time going back to sleep. And, and as I've talked to these people who are 20, 30 years younger than I am, I've, I've tried to impress upon them the necessity to to just believe what Solomon said, that it's going to happen. And for the most part, they're they're fairly nice and respectful. Um, but I can tell it's like, man, you know, he's he doesn't really know what he's talking about, or that's not going to happen to me. Which then caused me to think about Thomas, one of the apostles of Jesus, who, after Jesus had been raised from the dead, the other disciples told Thomas, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, the disciples were inside again and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hands and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. There are some of us who learn lessons about life the hard way, and that is not listening to the wisdom of our elders, not listening to the advice of those individuals who are older than we are, and simply by having lived 20 or 30 or 40 years longer than we have, have learned some things, and we disregard that, and we, and we go ahead and do what we think is best and what we want to do, only to find out that a lot of times it didn't work out. And then there are those individuals who read something and believe it. And especially when you talk about the, the Word of God. 
we read it, but we're really not sure God knows what he's talking about sometimes. And so we disregard his advice and we go and we do what we think is best only to find out that it's not and that what God said was actually best after all. It's, it's much easier to learn the lessons from those who have been before us. It's much easier and much better for those of us to just read the Word of God and accept it as the Word of God. To believe and to understand and to know that God knows what he's talking about. And that we should follow his ways. And if we will follow his ways, we will be able to live life well. And not have some of the problems that we bring upon ourselves by being stubborn and bullheaded and not listening to what the good Lord has to tell us. Well, I pray that you'll have a great week.